Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. This is my Saturday Reads video and uh, there are so many new faces. I'm so excited, I'm so happy that you are here and I hope that you will stick around. Um, there may be a little bit more editing in this video than normal because I have been sick <laughs> the last, uh, the last two days, I'm feeling so much better today. Wow, just light years better. But my throat, you can kind of hear, it's a little bit scratchy, so I don't want to spend too much time slurping on my drink. Um, and I also want to, and hopefully this person is watching, Aaron, not Aaron Facer, but just Aaron, um, I'm so sorry that I got confused when I responded to your comment and I really hope that you will forgive me for that. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, okay, so one of the things I do on my channel at the end of every month is I say hello to all the new people that I can see um, who have subscribed to my channel. Um, if you don't have uh, your subscribers set to public, um, I won't, I, I don't, I don't have you on this list. Um, and then there are actually um, several booktube channels that I've been introduced to, so that was really exciting. So I will link to them uh, down below. But um, anyway, so I wanna just start this video off by saying hello to Kim, Jen, Meds M. Um, Deanna loves books and Deanna, that sounds an awful lot like the name of a booktube channel. Are you, are you thinking of starting a booktube channel? Um, let me know. Um, let's see. Ala, Diksha, and Diksha, I, again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. If you want me to link to your channel, I know there's just one video and it was posted a while ago, so if you'd like me to link to your channel, just, just let me know in the comment section and I will add that link. Um, Sandra, Claire, Karen, Alex, Rina Lume, Diane, Paolo, Miss Bolinas, Smith 86 and Rahua. So welcome to all of you. Here are some people who have subscribed to my channel who actually have their own channel. Um, Percy does everything, novel idea. Uh, I don't know if D, the D is like a play on her name. Uh, Bandy's books and Grace's Athenium. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, I will link to those channels down below. What's really exciting to me about this list is that I've already heard from some of you, um, uh, especially those of you without channels, I've already heard from some of you in the comment section. So thank you so much for that. That's fantastic. So Victober is winding down and I just wanted to update you. Um, if you wanna check out, um, if you're new and you wanna check out my previous Friday or Saturday Reads videos, I did read Great Expectations by Charles Dickens um, this month and to try to try to go with the prompts um, from our Victober hosts, I did read a short story um, in the best ghost stories of Joseph Sheridan Le Fanu. I know this is a hideous cover. It's from, it's from like the 70s, it's a Dover edition. So I'm gonna totally spoil um, this story for you. So if you don't want to hear about an authentic narrative of a haunted house, then just speed ahead until I pull the book down. So an authentic narrative of a haunted house. I thought that I thought that sounded like a great title <laughs> for a short story. Um, and as we've discussed, like these are not all, I don't, Carmilla is in here, so they're not all ghost stories. I don't know why it has that name. Okay, just like hear me out here. Like tell me if I'm, if I'm wrong or <laughs> crazy. Like if your children dig up part of your yard or your garden and discover a human jawbone, like, would you or would you not be alarmed? I suppose it depends on where you live, but it's, full, it's only two feet under the ground. I would be a little alarmed. 
So it's a very interesting story. Like all of these supernatural things happen in the few months they're living in the house. And yet no one seems to think they're supernatural. <laughs> like uh, people walking around with like a big gouge on their neck and this like knocking knocking. There is actually a scene in the nursery which really reminded me of uh, Sarah Waters' um, The Little Stranger, uh, the nursery scene, which I actually, I think that's one of the scariest things I've ever read, that scene in the nursery. Um, but anyway, so this wasn't anywhere near as scary. There's like, again, there's just this tapping and people knock on doors and you go to open the door and there's nobody there. But again, like, and everyone, the narrator tells everyone like, oh, like, you know, this child or this, this staff person is a person of utmost integrity. They're always truthful. You know, everyone in the whole house is just a shining, shining example of, of being honest. I mean, like there's a shadow that like continually goes back and forth across some of the servants' walls, like, and they put a candle right up to it so there shouldn't be any shadow at all. And the shadow persists, but you know, like, oh well. <laughs> so, so I thought that was a little bit strange. I'm not gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna hold on to this in case, especially if there's, future um uh short story prompts for victober but also i do i do like to read something a little bit scary um around this time of the year and so we'll just see i don't know we'll see if i end up reading all of them or not it's it's such an old it's not it's not an appealing book to pick up but i do think um there could be there could be some gems there could be some gems in here so we will, we will see, we will try again next October. Um, as for the poetry prompt, <laughs> so I finally made it through the introduction to Alfred Lord Tennyson's selected poems. And um, it was really interesting. It gave me kind of some insight into Tennyson's life. He lived a long life uh, for a Victorian and which is why we have we have so much work by him. Um, the introduction really poses uh, the idea that Tennyson um, was all about second chances. Uh, so like he had a summer where he fell in love with this woman and she was way, way out of his range. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he kind of quickly got over it. They, they, they got over it. And then he, of course, finds, you know, the love of the love of his life that he marries. Um, and, and also like the poetry, like a lot of his poetry, Tennyson just kind of kept tinkering with it, which I think is really interesting, even after some of it had been published. Um, and, and, it seems like the author of the introduction feels like his tinkering and, and, and playing around with the poetry and, and evolving the words to it um, benefited the poetry. Um, so it, it made, it made his, his work better. So I read, I did read um, Break, Break, Break um, in this edition. And then again, you know, I didn't get, I, I, I'm hoping to read a little bit more today, but I did start reading and I don't think it's the whole version of the Lady of Shalott, but um, I started. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's just a selected. Well, I don't know. It, no, it can't be the whole thing. Anyway, so I started reading it. I started reading the Lady of Shalott um, with my husband, and my husband is just so smart, and he's um, really, really gifted with poetry, and so. I started reading this out loud to him and he was just saying the words right along with me, word for word. Ah! <laughs> so, I like, so, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's really cool. It's a cool thing. I love that. I love that he can do that, but it's also like sometimes a bit mad. I mean, like, uh, anyway, so I started reading the Lady of Shalott, which is of course, just beautiful. Um, 
And uh, anyway, I asked Jason, like, how, how do you know so many of the words uh, from, this, from this poem? I mean, it's not a short poem. Uh, and he said, well, there's a song uh, by Lorena McKennett. If I can, I will try to find a link to the song down and I will link to it down below so that you guys can check it out. Um, but, uh, Lorena McKenna is just kind of notorious for taking, um, older pieces of poetry and literature and turning them into music. So, um, I'm sure I bet I, I would be willing to bet that, that this is not the only Tennyson poem that, that she's take turned into, into music, but Anyway, so I did read, I started, Roz, I'm talking to you, Roz, <laughs> that was your prompt. So I'm hoping to finish The Lady of Shalott today. I do think Tennyson's poetry is beautiful and I'm glad to know like a little bit more about him. And so I think, you know, again, hopefully like maybe I can, maybe I can continue to pick this up. And then finally, you guys, I am still reading Dr. Thorne by Anthony Trollope. I continue to be madly in love with this cover. Um, so <laughs> because of the kind of week that it was, unfortunately, um, I, I have not made as much progress in this as I would like, but I'm really, really hoping this weekend because I'm still not a hundred percent. Um, but I, I feel well enough that I could read for a good stretch of time. So the plan is to read a lot of Dr. Thorne, which I am just enjoying so much. If you're not familiar, this is um, Anthony Trollope's uh, third third novel in the Barshut Shire Chronicles. I always get it wrong. Oh, thank you guys for putting up with me. Um, anyway, so I, I love it. I mean, it's such a, it's a great book already. Although some things have already happened that I'm like, Ooh, I was thinking that was going to happen a lot later in the book. So, so that makes me really excited to see like, what's, what's ahead. And it is a book that I really have. I want to pick it up, but I pick it up and I read three pages and then I fall asleep. And so fingers crossed will make significant process because of course we are about to start nonfiction November. Um, and yeah, I have, there's quite a few books here. So we will, um, yeah, we'll see what I get to. Um, another thing I wanted to share with you. Well, first of all, like, let's just talk about the obvious wonderful thing about Katie's shout out video at the end of October. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I was so happy. Um, well, I was honored to just be included in the list, but also I was really happy for some of the smaller booktubers that she included. I hope, I hope that you guys have checked them out. I particularly love, um, Lisa in Bookland. She's an Irish booktuber. I don't know what happens, but every time I see her, the music for Riverdance is just like triggered in my head. She's not an Irish dancer or anything like that, but she's just so oh, fresh faced and just charming. I really, really, really like her a lot. So, um, and then Art at Bookshelf Odyssey is another one that I really think deserves a lot more attention. So I'm so, I'm so glad Katie used her superpowers for good. And, um, not that I would think that she would use them otherwise, but, um, definitely I'm sure a lot of people were, had pretty surprising, surprising Fridays. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's wonderful. And again, I'm so glad that if you're new here, that, uh, she led you here and, uh, I hope that you will um, continue to stick with me. I do read Victorian literature throughout the year, so um, it won't be until next October that we're talking about Trollope and Dickens and uh, some other people like that. Finally, I would love to hear from you in the comments section. I, th I That is one of my favorite things about booktube is getting to know the people who watch my channel in the comment section. I realize like not everyone feels super comfortable with that. Um, if you, if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable 
writing a comment, you can leave an emoji or you can give this video a thumbs up and that just kind of helps me know like you're here, you're watching and uh, enjoying what you see. I also have a survey up right now on um, my community um, tab, which you can access from a phone or a computer, but not a tablet. It's a bummer. Um, but anyway, so I would love to hear some, get some more votes on that before I decide whether to do a holiday um, TBR in November in case there's anything on there that you guys might wanna read or if I should hold off until I can sit in front of the Christmas tree <laughs> And talk to you about um, my holiday reading plans, which are pretty limited. Um, they're primarily, yeah, it's it's not it's not a huge TBR, I promise. But um, anyway, I would really like your feedback on that because I don't, um, yeah, I just like to know when you'd like to see that video or if you even want to see that video at all. <laughs> all right, BookTube. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to hearing your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, BookTube, I will be back again with another bookish video soon. Bye.